Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about statistics calculations with frequency tables, okay? Here we go. Okay, to start with, I have two words here. We have discrete and the other one is continuous, okay? So when we say discrete, these are values that can be recorded exactly. For example, I have here a table with mark on the first column and the other column is the frequency, meaning um, there are two people who got 20, 10 people who got 18, and so on and so forth. So that's the meaning for discrete, wherein the values can be recorded exactly. And the second one is continuous, meaning values within certain range. Okay, so how so to understand this, let's have this table here below. Time, T in minutes, and in the other column is the frequency, meaning there is one here, one frequency for the timing, which is greater than or equal to 5 but less than 10 okay there are four with greater than or equal to 10 but less than 15 so and so on and so forth so that's the meaning of continuous the values are within certain range okay okay let's start give an example now of a simple discrete frequency table look at this boxes of matches are supposed to contain an average of 50 matches abdullah decides to check this figure he takes a sample of 20 boxes and counts the matches in them and here is the result which he wrote it in a table form okay so look at this the number of matches 48 49 50 and so on and so forth and then the frequency 15705 and so on and so forth meaning um, there are five uh, boxes with 49 um, number of matches inside okay so that's the meaning of that and the question here is we are going to calculate the value of the mean write down the mode work out the range of the data find the value of the median find the lower and upper quartiles hence find the interquartile range okay so these are the things that we are going to work on okay let's start solving for letter a which is calculate the value of mean so let's we will be needing the table of course the number of matches which represents x and then the frequency which is represented by f and then we have here additional column which is fx so we need this one in order to find out the value of the mean so first thing is we are going to get the product of x and f in order to provide the values here in f of fx sorry so you have to work to 48 245 this multiple just only multiply these two columns here 350 0 260 53 and 54 so that's how you find out this column and then after that let's add up the frequency the total there is equal to 20 and after that we will also add up this column fx so there you go the sum is equal to 1010 and to find out the value of the mean just simply divide 1010 by 20 so there you go our mean is equal to 50 it's equal to 50.5 up next is write down the mode so in that case let's just look at the table and check out the frequency column and what do you think is the highest frequency there that's seven and check the corresponding number of matches and that's 50 therefore the mode is 50 because this is the one that repeats and uh, uh, the highest number of repeats okay here we go for our number three question which is work out the range of the data so in that case, just simply um, check out the number of matches and what do you think is the highest score? That's 54 and the lowest score is 48. Remember, range is just the difference of the highest score minus the lowest score. So in that case, our range is 54 minus 48 is equal to 6. Okay. Next one is the median. So to, to do that, remember that the total number of frequency here is 20. And then for n items, uh, n plus 1 divided by 2, so 20 plus 1 divided by 2, that's 10.5. So the median lies between 10th and 11th values. So where can we find this? Let's look at the frequency. Add up here. Look at that. From It's either you start here or down. So 1 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 13. Before it reaches 10th and 11, and uh, before it reaches 13 rather, it, we have... 10 and 11 first or you have here 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 7 that's equal to 14 so before it reaches 14 again we have the values here which is 10 and 11 therefore our median here is 50 okay okay so here's the last one which is find the lower and the upper quartiles hence find the enter quartile range in order to do that remember that when we say quartiles the data is divided into four parts so you have the q1 which is lower q2 the half q3 
upper quartile for Q forming four quartile. Okay, so how are we going to apply this one? So let's say, for example, the lower quartile, just simply one-fourth of the total number of frequency. Remember that the total is equal to 20. So one-fourth of 20 is equal to 5. So therefore, the fifth value there, meaning the position there, fifth value in the given data is, uh, check counting from here, that's 49. And the upper quartile, which means three-fourth of the total number of frequency, which is 15th value, just count here again. So here, that's why the 15th value there is 52. To find out the enter quartile range, just simply subtract the upper and the lower quartile. Therefore, the value there is equal to 3. Okay? Okay, so here we go for our next example, which is the group continuous data. The resistance in ohms of a sample of 50 electronic components are measured, and the table shows the results. Okay? So here is the resistance in ohms. This is what we call the class intervals and then the frequency. Okay, so the class interval says that there are 10 with um, resistance which is greater than or equal to 80 but less than 90. Okay, so that's the meaning for that. And the questions are calculate an estimate of the mean resistance, state the class interval that contains the median resistance, and last but not the least, which is write down the modal class. Okay. Okay, let's start with letter A, which is calculate an estimate of the main resistance. So first thing is copy the table, the resistance in ohms, and then the frequency. This time, we will be needing a midpoint, okay? How did I get the values here in the midpoint and why we need this? And this midpoint is our basis in finding out the estimated mean because these are in group data. So we need to find out the midpoint, okay? Midpoint is just simply uh, 80 the lower limit plus the upper limit which is 90 divided by 2 there you go you have 85 we do the same here okay next one is fx so we just multiply f and x you have 850 and so on and so forth and then get the frequency the total and also the total of fx divide them and the estimated the value of the mean is 98.2 okay so that's how you do that Okay, next one is state the class interval that contains the median resistance. In that case, can you look at the table again? And remember to find out the median, just simply n plus 1 divided by 2. And here we go, the total frequency is 50 plus 1 divided by 2. The position is 25.5. So let's look at here. And the frequency uh, starting here, 10 plus 23. So there you go, it becomes 33 before it reaches... 33 we have here the value which is 25.5 or we can do the other way around uh, 6 plus 7, 11 which is 17 plus 23 that becomes 40 before it reaches 40 you have here the 25.5 location and therefore um, that is our basis and our median interval now is 90 to 100 okay and we are down to our last question which is write down the modal class and to answer this question, just simply look at the class intervals, okay? Check which class interval that has the highest frequency. So check the highest frequency here is 23. And therefore, the class interval there is the resistance, with the, with resistance which is greater than or equal to 90 but less than 100. So you would say that the modal class is... Um, a resistance which is greater than or equal to 90 but less than 100 okay and that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe bye